here's Mike Witch, who will talk with Jim Killerin from Habitat for Humanity about working with Mamaroneck High School students. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the round table tonight. Our guest, uh, well, one guest is no stranger to LMC TV, Jim Killerin. Sitting next to me is the executive director of Habitat for Humanity in Westchester. Yes. And Jim, you brought with you Charlie Mullen. Hello. And hi, Charlie. And you are the president of, well, tell the folks what you're president of. Well, I'm the president of the high school club. So um, we work once a month and we help build at Habitat Homes a lot. And the high school club is called what? Um, we call it MHS Habitat for Humanity. And how long has it been around? Um, I don't know, a while. So my brothers Why took it over about four years ago, and then I know it had an extensive past, yeah. so I think a while, yeah. I think the guy next to you knows the whole history of the club. How many years have been, you know, has that club been it there? It started, and, and uh, Charlie's one of my leaders, and I have thousands of leaders. I've been, uh, I've been around doing Habitat clubs for almost 30 years, so mm -hmm. the, the Potter family, as I drove a bike over here once, a house was getting knocked down off of Larchmont Avenue to build a bigger yard and we went to recycle it and a woman comes walking by and I said, well, you know, we have Habitat Club. She said, oh, I'd love, love my daughter to get involved with that. And uh -huh. I believe it was Allison Potter who was my first Habitat leader. And that's the beginning. And so those leaders, and Charlie has been part of going to our high school advisory board, which, we, which meets once a month. Wow. FASNI is part of that. Uh, Horace Mann, Yonkers. But you, and now you've got, I don't mean to interrupt you, no, but no, you've no, got please. a lot of projects that we want to talk about. Specifically, Charlie is one of 30 Mamaroneck seniors who are working with you for one month. But first, hold that thought. I know you've got a lot to say about it. I want to remind our viewers that this is a live segment. So if you've got a question about Habitat or you want to make a comment, feel free to call us or you can send an email. The contact information is on your screen. So tell me about the 30 well, seniors. Well, Charlie is head of the Habitat Club, but this is the first year that the school called me and said, will you take seniors? Yeah. And Bobby Brizard, who's a friend of Charlie, yeah. right? He's on the lacrosse team. Shout out to the, they just won the playoff game. Right, congratulations. Go Tigers, right? And, and he was supposed to be here. Right, and he, he is getting ready for the next game. They just came from the field. But I have a, a Tiger SWAT team <laughs> every morning of 30 seniors. Wow that get deployed. Bobby's one of my generals. Emma, I, I call it the Milo team, which is my garden team. And It's kind of an army? And I have, I have 15,000 volunteers. This is a SWAT team uh, from a Maronick High School. Mm. Phenomenal of kids that go all over the county every morning mm -hmm. for a month. And they're senior interns. And they are getting habititis. It's horrible. <laughs> it's an infection. I don't think it's horrible. Did we show pictures yet? I don't know if we showed them yet, but we've got some photos that uh, Jim brought in, so maybe we can see some of those pictures. Sure. And Jim, you can tell us what we're looking at. Well, here, we here's Zoe, who is in, in a historic Marquette Row in Yonkers. We just got that house for a veteran's family, and she's having fun with a chainsaw, it looks like, a <laughs> sawzall. And the seniors have cleared brush. They took off a roof. Wow. They're lear learning wow. to build. Yeah. And every, I think. And operate tools. This may be mm -hmm. one of the most important educational experiences of the four years mm -hmm. at Maranek High School. I don't mm -hmm. say that lightly. No. But service in a county that uh, is, is a, a dichotomy of all backgrounds and economic and ethnic and racial. These kids are going out every morning working from Yonkers to Chappaqua. Mm -hmm. And we started That's here. That's a range. That's right. a range of economies there. In from, Mount yeah. Vernon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, in Millwood, making community gardens on Main Street in Rochelle, helping with our green recycling store that we just did the appraisal roadshow on Main Street where we bring in New Rochelle. Yes, this is just this past weekend. Right, mm -hmm. and and uh, we'd love to start one here in Mamaroneck as well. Mm -hmm. Our home base is Mamaroneck, where we did our first house 30 years ago, yeah. where we did the floods in the flats. A shout out to Keith and and God rest Arlene Greensrow and uh, Soul and the First Baptist Church. We help gut. This is really uh, home for me. And uh, everything about what this weekend represents, Memorial Day, is about everyone having a home and a place to have a roof. And the saddest thing in this county is that I'm looked at like I have three heads when I say, can we build a veteran's family, mm -hmm. a home in your town or city? It, we are seeing mass migration. That is what the seniors and Charlie leads, they, poverty should have been ended. Yeah. 
home ownership, the American dream, everyone's going to raise the flag and go to a parade. We need to be building homes in New York or mm -hmm. else people are leaving at an extraordinary level at their biggest rate in the history of our state to other states where people can afford to live and millennials have a future. This mission that the seniors and that Charlie does is no light mission. Yeah. And we need everybody watching to get Habititis. Habitatwc.org is our website, by the way. Oh, no. I'm sure you're going to give that website about five more times. 25. Gonna, Charlie, I want to ask you something. But before we do, I want to take a little break. And uh, we'll be right back. We're going to be talking to Charlie Mullen about his experience with Habitat for Humanity in Westchester. Stay with us. Welcome back to tonight's roundtable. Charlie Mullen, you're president of Westchester, uh, well, the Mamaroneck Student mm -hmm. Club, Westchester for, uh, excuse me, Habitat for Humanity in Westchester. What do you get out of this? Well, um, we get a lot of, uh, out of this because, first of all, we get a lot of experience. Yeah. So um, we go to these builds and help people that need help. We help build homes. We went to the VFW. We clean things up for the veterans there. So we get an overall experience of just helping people. And then also, um, some people in our club are part of Lion's Heart, so mm -hmm. they do this for service hours. But I think one thing we've done is really drawn them into the club and um, got them to be a core member of the group and have mm -hmm. them come to a lot of our builds and events. Were you surprised at the level of need in Westchester? Because most people think, especially Larchmont and the Maronick, it's a kind of wealthy area, but mm -hmm. there's need in our own community besides yeah. the greater community. Yeah, so I was in Homics in eighth grade, and. Um, so my brothers are three years older than me, so they were juniors by then, and I was still in homics, and they were the head of the club. So I know every weekend they'd go out to their builds, and I didn't really know what was happening, to be honest. Mm -hmm. But then finally when I got to freshman year and I started going, I realized that there really is a need around this area in Westchester. Like, it's, even in Mamaroneck, people need help. But mainly in the sites that we've gone to, such as in Yonkers, Chappaqua, New Rochelle, there's just so many places and there's always need. Mm. And how many people do you work with on in an average year of activity, let's say? Well, student-wise, we've had a bunch of kids. So this year, I would say our club has actually grown exponentially wow. because we started, I started my freshman year, I took over the club at the end of the year. So we had 250 members maybe, but a lot of those were previous graduated members, like seniors or something. Wow. So I felt the need to like, so to speak, like clear the club a little bit, like fresh, have a fresh start. So I added some of the sophomores I knew that year and juniors. And now we started off this year with 60, but now we're at 150. You so, are like a SWAT team. Yes. You are an army. So of, we've grown no, by 90. Are. Yeah. So mm -hmm. student-wise, we've had, I think we've had a record. Our build in New Rochelle, where we, where, we, where we were helping at a house, we had 22 people come, mm -hmm. including myself. So that was a lot of people. And then we also helped with um, the building advisors that Jim has at the sites, such as like Mike, right? So in Mike Chappaqua. And Steve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Steve. And so we know them. And then they help us a lot and really give us a clear view on what to do to help the people in the house. It must feel good. Yes. <laughs> and you're learning tools and planning yeah. and organization and mm -hmm. team building and cooperation. We could go on and on and yeah. on. Uh, what, could, what can viewers of our show do to help the club in Mamaroneck? Well, um, right now, Jim and I are actually looking to establish a site in Mamaroneck. Mm -hmm. So they could help us with that, like talking to the mayor and stuff such as that. And then um, we'll be at the, so usually in the summer, they have something on Mamaroneck Avenue. I think it's called Summerfest. Yeah. I volunteered there before, so I went to the village camp, so I've done that. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have a booth there so they can come by and even donate if they want. And then we have the New Rochelle Street Fair, too, swing by there during the fall. Yeah, help with that. yeah mm -hmm. I've helped with that. We got a bunch of donations. We carried around the tins in our two-by-four and <laughs> had people sign and donate. All right. So that's a good way to help. Um, thank you. You're, you're, you're an excellent spokesperson. <laughs> For this organization. Uh, I think he takes after you. I, I take after him. <laughs> you know, I'm inspired every day. Mm -hmm. You know, when I, I say, wow, thank God he gets it. Mm. You know, and tonight, one of your viewers, a senior or a young kid, uh, a family that needs a home. I just actually uh, helped a family that was displaced from Puerto Rico. Uh, they were just in my office before I came here, and we've been helping them. Mm. They just moved into an apartment in Mamaroneck. It got them jobs. One of them is working the school system. Um, but he get, they get it. My leaders get it. I have 50 leaders. 
I have thousands. You multiply 50 of what he does, not including the faith community. We had 1,000 volunteers over mm. the last 10 days. Not enough. No. We are seeing a tale of two cities, and for him to know that how good he has it and how good it is to give back, because you never see a U-Haul behind a hearse, no matter how big your house is, how much, we're all philanthropists, whether you have a million dollars or a dollar in your pocket, we're all put on life to help each other. Mm -hmm. The theology of the hammer started here, where we Larchmont Temple, uh, St. John and Paul, uh, St. John's, uh, uh, St. Augustine's, which does a walk for us every fall mm -hmm. in November. This is a clarion call for every youth to learn to build. We have a builder's camp. Remember, as I said, Gates, Zuckerberg, and Bezos, don't let their kids get on technology in their schools. Hmm. We need to build again. I want Charlie to be CEO of the company that makes solar panels. Sure. Uh, Bobby to make, be, 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 he might be, be company, uh, president of the company, of, of the, uh, the furniture company again. We can make things again, and we've demeaned that for a whole generation. Hmm. And where, where Marquette Row is, where they're working the factories, Marquette means... Uh, the ca a carpet in French and people would walk to work mm. and they'd walk home and we've taken over what we call Battle Hill and built houses right on High Street yeah. and rehabbed and made mm -hmm. community gardens and we have a saying called NMU can you say NMU? NMU what is it Charles? No More Ugly No More Ugly mm. should any neighborhood in Westchester or anywhere be ugly for any kid? No. Yet there are kids and you're not just talking about beautification though you're really talking about mm. Total neighborhood uh, revitalization. A roof over your head and a neighborhood community. Right. And we, so we have a marching band of inner city kids, if you ask. Because when I see the football game and the great band here, these kids have nothing. Mm -hmm. 270 kids are getting, getting uh, teachers are getting cut out of a budget in Yonkers. So a guy came up and says, there's nothing for the kids. I said, what do you need? Drums, shirts, a school, 61 mm -hmm. parades. The first parade they marched in when I was made the... the, the uh, Friendly Sons uh, the, of St. Patrick. You made the Grand Marshal? Whatever, Grand Pooh Bar, I don't know. <laughs> grand, grand Potato, which I'm proud of, uh, uh -huh. is uh, the, the band march there. So it, it is us, it's like being home, but everything about Memorial Day yeah. is not about cookouts. It's about the freedom that we can be here, that the freedom we can, we need to build America again and Westchester again from the bottom up. New York is suffering with a crisis of affordable housing right now. Well, we, we've got a question from a viewer yes. that's come in. Yeah. And the question is, as a volunteer, do you have a choice on what you can do? Let me ask Charlie that. Well, um, so we've obviously been to very various sites, but it's really what's needed there at the time. So my first time at Chappaqua, it's, first of all, it's gotten so much better as the years have gone on. But we yeah. were digging dirt because I'm pretty sure it's on a, like a sloped elevation. So that day we were digging dirt and helping to level it. There were plenty of schools there. And then the last time we went to Chappaqua, we were digging dirt, but jackhammering, jackhammering concrete. <laughs> so it's really just what's needed. I mean, you could obviously find something curved to you and what you're comfortable with, such as like painting or clearing the dirt, shoveling the dirt, not jackhammering. Yeah, like, right? There's always something to do, but it's what you feel comfortable with. And individuals okay. can, uh, they will then, separate from a group, will be guided to what the scope of the work is for mm -hmm. that day. So if you know how to frame, you will say, we're going to put you on framing. But people are learning these skills again. We're mm -hmm. like the vocational school of yesteryear. We're teaching every day. You mentioned something about donating, and there's another question just came in, and I'll read it off the prompter. Are there other ways to help Habitat other than donating money or building? You know, we need mentors. So mm -hmm. remember when you moved into your first home? Yes. Did you need to learn how to, who do you call? I had oh. a wonderful neighbor who helped me out. Yes. So you had someone help. We yes. need mentors to be, neighbor, to be neighbors to our families. We do need special events people. We have our big recycling store right on Main Street in the Rochelle. I want to talk about that right. uh, because that's one of the features of, of Habitat that I don't think people know about. But we're going to take a break first sure, sure. and be right back about Habitat for Humanity in Westchester. Stay there. Welcome back to the Roundtable tonight. We're talking with Jim Kaloran and Charlie Mullen 
about Habitat for Humanity in Westchester. Charlie is the president of the club at the Maranek High mm -hmm. School, and Jim is the executive director of Habitat for Humanity in Westchester. You were talking about the re restore store. There are 800 in the country. And where's ours? Ours is 659 Main Street in New Rochelle. I okay. just did the appraisal roadshow there. Yeah. It was so much fun, unbelievable. It was really like what you see on TV. There's 130 billion tons of material. 10% of every new job is thrown away. I have 500 brand new rugs. Sears Improvement just donated all brand new doors and windows from their warehouse. Mm. The stuff, on, you might see me on your, your house on garbage day. Remember my first house was Larchmont where they knocked it down. Mm -hmm. We recycled that. Can I sneak in a thank you? Because when we were preparing this new studio here at the town center, That's right, I you were here with volunteers. You not only knocked down walls and got rid of a lot of debris, but you also donated some rugs that we have in uh, our uh, shout room. Shout out to TF Andrew Copper yes. One. I mm -hmm. asked them to come in who has helped me with people yes. in various situations. So thank you from LMC TV. And then people don't always know we've all we generated two hundred twenty-five thousand dollars worth of sales tax, helped over six thousand families save money on their home, and we gave over six hundred families free free furniture, mm. like this family displaced who are in a fire or in floods. So if I had something that I didn't need anymore and I wanted to donate it, is this a place to go? So we want to, and this is, because we're on TV, I'm going to ask, Charlie and I will plan one day a month with the high school mm -hmm. in Mamaronek that people can bring to a site, mm -hmm. and then that can be brought over to the restart. Ah, okay. The pickup is challenging yeah. because so many people want to give in a throwaway state. Sure. We recycle. So we take cabinets. Mm -hmm. We take doors. We take windows. Actually, we've taken whole houses down and mm -hmm. recycled them. So that, instead of going to the Talk landfill. Talking about recycling the materials that are usable, still right. usable, so, like so, doors and Or if windows someone and buys a new house and they don't yeah. like the one-year-old cabinet colors that someone put in. Yeah. We get that, and someone's got beautiful new cabinets saved. Now, someone gets them. Are they, do they have to qualify for that assistance, or can it just be Well, anybody? they buy that. In other words, it's like 50% or less of whatever. So it's okay. Memorial Day, a Memorial Day weekend sale. But then if someone has nothing, yeah. like in a fire or something like that, right. or I work with other agencies, then we have donated time and time and time again. There was, a, in Peekskill, 100 families burnt out two years ago, July 20th. Uh, donated furniture to 100 mm -hmm. families. In the mayor, I get calls from the mayors frequently, Mayor of Mount Vernon, Mayor of Yonkers, Mayor, mayor of Peekskill. Uh, I worked the night that the fire was here around Christmas. Mm -hmm. I was there, and Mayor Murphy can attest to this, and I brought 100 brand new coats that I get donated every year. Wow. I'm, because I, I, and one thing I always say to every volunteer, at a year that we had $10 billion worth of disaster, and I did 200 flooded homes in Mamaroneck in 2006, are you ready for disaster tonight? Do you have a plan? Where do you go? And also, if there is a disaster, will you help me? Mm -hmm. Will you help me? Yeah. So I ask mm -hmm. every one of our volunteers. I brought 9,000 volunteers, including LMC TV staff, to the Rockaways. Yes. Because of what I learned in 2006. That was after Sandy, right? In 2006 mm -hmm. here, I learned, we, we put, we, I learned how to do gutting and mucking and create disaster teams. Just like mm -hmm. he's a SWAT team with his, he's my captain. He's mm -hmm. my general from Americanic youth. Uh, I have generals all over this mm -hmm. county. I'm the weakest link in the chain here. <laughs> but I know to put good leaders around me, and that's one of... Uh, I'd like to go back to your leader, one of your leaders here, and say, yes, what's, it, what's, General uh, what's happening <laughs> in the... Is there something happening in the summer with the club, or are you planning something for the fall that viewers should know about? On the A-Team. Oh, yeah. So over the summer, you can volunteer at the Restore. So Jim has something called the A-Team. Okay. So, um... You can volunteer there. I think they go around a little bit and they help. They also help up lead. The they might lead companies. We'll have 150 people from a company in a day. I'll say, Charlie, will you lead these 10? You know the gig. Paint the storefront, put five of them over here, make the community garden. Mm -hmm. Zoe, will you help here? Mm -hmm. Zoe Schmidt, who was a graduate of Mamaroneck High School, helped to make the community garden on Main Street with volunteers. Now, these are sites that you've. All over the county. Yeah, but you've identified them as, as a need. Right. And so, okay. and I get mm -hmm. calls all the time from yeah. seniors who have no heat or no mm -hmm. air conditioning or no running water. There was a veteran in East Chester, three years without running water mm -hmm. in his home. Mm -hmm. I get the, that's the poor amongst us for our seniors mm -hmm. in the highest tax county in the country where everything should be perfect. This is, mm -hmm. this, there's a disconnect between the speak and what gets done. Yeah. We need to get it done. We have another question. Does Habitat provide transportation for volunteers to those locations? 
Uh, sometimes we we uh, not prior, primarily though. You know, we ask the volunteers to get to the site. Uh, you know, I'm a big one, by the way. It's nice to see some. I'm a big one on creating biking throughout Westchester. We're mm. too car centric, and biking is affordability. But uh, we will rent a van. Uh, we have a builder's camp as well, right? A yeah, builder's, and that. your brothers went on the builder's camp. Yeah, yeah. That's so the learning how they get mm -hmm. a tool belt, a manual, you know, learning how to, just like I had college kids help me gut this place, and, and well, he'll, he'll learn how to uh, put up sheetrock. Mm -hmm. He's putting insulation. He's learning about passive houses, which is the standard, the number one standard. In 1998, if you go to Bob Vila Yonkers on Google it, we built a mm -hmm. house on national TV here in a week. Mm. Energy efficient, design. Some we, people may not know who Bob Vila is. I know. I well, remember him. Uh, he's he was still one around. Of the original him. people on PBS. Right. Right. He was the yes. original mm -hmm. home improvement guy. Yes. And mm -hmm. uh, he's still doing so. So we built a house in a week on national TV. I took down a house on the Regis and Kelly show <laughs> that we recycled the whole thing. And, mm -hmm. and Regis is saying, Have a dad, I wish I got the house. <laughs> And we re the house next to City Hall and the Rochelle, half of it is built from that. Someone bought that and put it in there. So I want you to talk about, oh, God, we have another question come in. You're Great. a popular Good, a we popular love topic. questions. Is the planting trees to grow fruit on the street initiative still happening in New Rochelle? Will that spread to other communities? You know, I'm a big one on greening communities. Yes. And I don't know that uh, I had talked about, we have these planters, right, Charlie? We have yep. 160 planters that we put food in. And imagine you're, that you, you- mean grow food? We grow food. Mm -hmm. You know, we want cancer to be gone in the, in the view of his lifetime too. So it's natural, right. natural eating, he eating at healthy. At a time mm -hmm. when Mrs. Greens just went out, which I'm sad yeah. to mm -hmm. see. I just yeah. went to get a, a juice and it was closed. Uh, very sad. I think every one of his, in, in, in World War II, during this Memorial Day, 20 million people had victory gardens. We need to have victory again. You know victory gardens? I did. I learned about it. You heard about them. Yes. Yeah, I have. Yeah. Yes. They go so we, we have to have victory again of growing food because if it, it doesn't have chemicals. So we make these in, in food deserts where there's no healthy food. Okay, there's bodegas. so that person's question. I, ho I hope so. They, the you're, city you're gave aiming, me a hard time okay. putting, about putting planters on, on Main Street. Okay. Uh, it, you know, there's a lot of uh, greenwashing, they call it. Hmm. But really, they cut down every tree from my headquarters down to Home Depot. We hope, where other mayors have welcomed it in two other yeah. in mm -hmm. three other cities, so we want communities to be green again and to grow food. And any place that I, my first garden was on C and 10th in the Lower East Side in 1990, mm. and it's now like the botanical gardens growing food. No one knows me. I'm a guerrilla gardener. I get the land, <laughs> I get the supplies, and then I get good people like that person who yeah. knows how to really grow. And, and make it happen. Well, it's, it's obvious that you have inspired Charlie, and it sounds like he you've inspired me. thousands of other people. So if people want more information, that please, website again? Please go to habitatwc.org, and you can go to Habitat for Humanity of Westchester Facebook. Follow us at Habitat WC, Instagram and Twitter, mm -hmm. and, and really come visit us this week on Memorial Day weekend, 659 Main Street, and get Habitatus. And I love the Maranek and Larchmont. Thank you to the, to the people, the mm -hmm. public, Charlie, thank you, your family, every student. Thank you to the Mimaranek seniors who are my SWAT team. Let's keep it going, Mimaranek youth. Mm -hmm. Continue to be my SWAT team all summer long. If you want your youth involved, call me directly, 914-403-4821. Say and that also, again. Say that again. 403-4821. Okay. And we need to build another home here. And there's mm -hmm. a senior out there watching this tonight who needs us to come and work on their home. And you want to hear from that senior? And we want to hear from that senior, and okay. we're there to help. Jim Kaloran from Habitat for Humanity in Westchester, and Charlie Mullen from Mamaroneck High School, thank you so much. No and we've got more coming up uh, on the local live. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm.